How this Hawaiian passenger ferry ended up working for the US Navy in Japan is not what you think. The Hawaii Super Ferry began service in August of 2007, but within days, protesters were blocking the ferry and soon, a court ruled to stop the Super Ferry service until an environmental impact assessment was completed. But that wasn't the end. Within three weeks, the state of Hawaii passed a special legislation to allow large ferry operations while an environmental study was underway. But ultimately, in March of 2009, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that legislation unconstitutional, which shut down the Super Ferry, and the company went bankrupt. But the company owed millions of dollars to Maritime Administration and Austal USA, which had built two ferries for them for $190 million. So the two ferries were auctioned, and the US Navy ended up acquiring them both for a bargain price of $35 million. One of those ferries was modified and renamed to USNS Guam, and she now transports troops and equipment from Okinawa, Japan to other locations.